My first contact with jiu-jitsu was with my brother, you know. He always wanted to bring me into jiu-jitsu, but I was super shy, super shy. And I didn't like in the first time because I got a lot of bruise. There was a lot of mans in the, in the class. And I said, I don't think this is for me. I was 14 years old. I was kind of, you know, uh, fat at the time. And he said, it's good, you know, for you to lose some weight. And then I tried, but I didn't like. And then I went to watch him compete the Abu Dhabi trials in Campo Grande, where we used to live. And I just got impressed, you know, with the with the event. And I said, I wanna, I wanna be there, you know. I wanna feel this energy. I want to see my parents one day, you know, coming and cheering for me. And I told him, I wanna, I wanna come back to Jiu Jitsu. And he said no, you're not, like, you stopped so many times. And I said, no, I want to try because I want to compete, you know? And he said, okay, so let's start to do the classes. And then I started to do like twice a week, three times a week. And then I was training every day. And then I just start to be like, I fell in love, you know? And I said, I think I want to do this for my life, you know? I think I want to be an athlete. And he said, look, it's not easy. You need to work hard. And I said, no, but I'm ready, I, I wanna try. And then it just started to happen, you know. I started to train in 2011 and 2012. I came to to United States to compete the worlds and I won. I, I was blue belt for six months and I won my first world title. I was able to finish all my fights. And he said, no, you, you need to keep doing this, you know? And then it was supernatural, I just, keep doing and here I am <laughs> hard work <laughs> I think there's no secret you know I think once you decide to be good at something you just need to wake up and try to give a hundred percent every day you know there's there's no mystery a lot of people they say they wanted to be a champion but they don't want to pay the price you know so it's not it's not easy but if you do everything right, if you dedicate yourself and you try to be better every day, if you never get satisfied, you know, you always need to keep this, this hungry, you know, inside of you. I think that's the secret. Um, actually, I felt some pressure, some pressure uh, when I was competing in Gramado. There was a lot of cameras, you know, on me, and I was a blue belt at the time. And I said, what is this? You know, like, this is not for me because I'm a blue belt. I knew it. And I knew it was because of my brother. And I remember he talked to me, he put me in the corner and he said, look, forget about everything. You are you, you know, just do what you do during the training. Don't let these people, you know, get into your mind. Forget about the cameras. Just have fun and don't don't worry, you know, you'll be fine. And then it started to be more natural because people, they used to be like, ah, but it's easy, you know, you're Rodolfo's sister. And I said, what? Come on, you know, I train. He doesn't train for me, you know. I wake up every day, I do my trainings. I I train hard, you know, to, to get my, my titles, you know, to... And there was a point that I just... I didn't feel nothing, you know, I was fine. People used to do some jokes, you know, about ah, it's easy because you have him to help you every time. And I said, okay, whatever. I'm gonna keep doing what I'm doing. And I, I stopped to feel this pressure, you know. Actually, I don't know if this, this was part of my life for, I don't know, maybe purple belt, but then at the brown, I stopped to worry about all this. Yeah, he said, Carol, one day you'll be known by Ana Carolina Vieira. You know, people, they will start to do this because you just started jiu-jitsu. So they expect from you to be like me, but I'm Rodolfo when you're Ana Carolina. We're not the same person, you know? You're gonna build your, your career uh, and that's fine, you're gonna do great. You just need to keep doing and don't let this pressure come because if you let this pressure come then you're gonna be you know nervous and then you're gonna do bad and you're gonna be frustrated not because of you but because of the others and 
Then I remember they used to post like Ana Carolina Vieira, um, Rodolfo Vieira, Caesar, and I was like, oh my god, when this, when this will like over, you know? Mm -hmm. And I remember when I won my world title and as, uh, as a brown belt, they post like Ana Carolina Vieira won the the words in the brown belt and i said wow they didn't say about rodolfo and i got i got super happy i was super shy you know i wasn't i wasn't the kind of girl that you know communicative i used to be you know by myself and since i, I started the jiu-jitsu i started to create more self-confidence and now i see how important it is because now that I have a school and I I can see clearly how the girls change, you know. We used to have a lot of students when they started with us, they used to be, you know, they using they they wasn't able to look in the eyes, you know, they used to be super like how can I say they used to doubt of themselves. And since they start to train, you know, and they start to feel more powerful now they her posture is different not just in jiu-jitsu you know but outside of the mat and i think every woman should do jiu-jitsu you know or any other martial arts but i think jiu-jitsu there's something special i always wanted to fight her actually because i like the idea you know to be challenged like oh you will never be able to win because she's too big she's too strong but i think if you do it right, if you have a, a good strategy, you can do it. And I think, I think like, I don't have any, I don't worry about size, you know, about how strong is the girl, how big she is. I know how, tr how hard I train every day. I know my Jiu Jitsu, I know that I'm able to win, you know? Even if I'm not able to get the win on the first time, the second time, I'm gonna keep improving, you know, because I know I can I can do it. I like to compete the, the open class because I like this challenge, you know? Like, oh, she's bigger than me, but I, I believe in my jiu-jitsu, I trust on this, and I know I can win. Maybe not this time, you know, let's say, I. I lost to her twice, but it was so close. And I said, it's just about details, you know? She didn't smash me. She didn't like, you know, submit me. It wasn't like a, a easy fight for her. So about the weight division, I say, okay, maybe next time. And if it's not next time, maybe the next time, you know? So it's like getting closer, getting closer, you know, because I can feel like my mistakes. I always watch my fights, especially when I lost because I can see, okay, this, what I need to improve, you know, what I can do better. And I always try to fix in the training. So the first time we, we fought, I was like, I blocked myself because I wasn't ready to pull guard. And then I got a penalty. And the second time in the ADCC, I pulled guard. I think I did great. I wasn't able to get the victory, but when I watched my fight, actually, I think I did, I did better than her, but Unfortunately, they give the, the win to her, but I'm ready to fight her again, gi or no gi, and I think I'll do even better the next time. Here's my partner in crime, in jiu-jitsu, in life, in everything. Because of our position in jiu-jitsu, I think we didn't have any challenge. Right? Nobody never seen nothing bad to uh, us. Actually, since the beginning we decide, like, don't care about all the challenge, you know? Like, doesn't matter what people are gonna think, doesn't matter about the sponsors, doesn't matter about the students, like, let's, you know, it, it, that's happy. us, so... It's about our life, you know? And I think people shouldn't judge our sexuality because they, they shouldn't look at us like, gay people you know they should look at us like okay this is an athlete Luana Ozugi this is the athlete Ana Carolina Vieira they do great in jiu-jitsu and that's it and, and we are never, real you know so we decide since the beginning keep like this you know we never like we don't want to lie we don't want to keep this just for us you know like so we are totally open
And we know how like people in Jiu Jitsu, not just in Jiu Jitsu, but that's the the environment the we, we live. So we know how people in Jiu Jitsu, most part of people, they have a really close mind. Uh, so we just decide like, okay, we're gonna be the first one and maybe these are gonna make other people feel more comfortable exactly. to, to be real, you know, like to just, just open. Uh, I told I told Luana like I had no idea, but we got so many messages after our marriage, like, and I said Luana I had no idea you know when people around the world like from from French from Brazil a lot of people from Brazil they send a lot of messages like hey thank you for this, thank you because I was scared to open myself because we live in a world so homophobic, especially jiu-jitsu, we know it's a place that people don't don't show that much, but we know there's something. And they just got, they just got like some strength, you know, to say, look, I'm gay, you know, and I'm fine with that. You should respect. Because uh, jiu-jitsu, like, it's a sport with a lot of contact, you know, so since oh. when I was young, I started Jiu-Jitsu with nine years old, so since when I was young, I remember the guys in the school, oh, always the guys, I never listened to this from the girls, but always the guys, they was always like, hey, gay people, we don't want to hear, you know? We don't want gay people take my back. We don't want gay people on this position, you know? That's and so bad. <laughs> and Jesus. And so I, because of this, I think people in Jiu-Jitsu, they are so shy and so close, you know, they don't want to open who they are, they don't want to open and talk about this, so... And I think if you worry about training with a gay guy, I think there's something wrong with you, you know, like, why, why you be worried about training with a gay guy? Yeah, Maybe and we if, need to review your... And if you <laughs> think about these kind of positions, you know, like a sex positions in Jiu-Jitsu, if you train with a gay guy, so mm -hmm. you should not train with a woman because... Uh, it's the same. It's the same, so... Exactly. Hey, something's wrong, you know, just think about this part. Just think about, like, you need to do, you know, what you need to do. Doesn't matter if the guy, he likes another guy, if the woman, the guy, the, she likes another woman. We are here to train Jiu-Jitsu and you should be here to train Jiu-Jitsu as well, so... Yeah, that's it. We always talk about this. I'm happy. I'm happy that we are the first couple, <laughs> the first gay couple in Jiu Jitsu. And I hope this can help the others, you know, that maybe keep themselves in a shelf, like to, to just be who they want, you know.